fellow stackers, Angry K9 here. Welcome back to Full Stack. And as you've just seen, I've been doing a lot of work on the base over here. Uh, got quite a bit accomplished here. Got all the stone dug out all the way down to, I think it's like level 20 or something like that. Put some levels in here and uh, got everything looking pretty cool. And I'm just doing a little bit of finishing work right now with the lighting. Uh, putting in some lighting up here and all the way around. I've got to do it down there. going to be doing it on two levels here. Gonna have some more lights up there. Gonna keep everything pretty well lit up. And it's far enough out that if I could hit that, there we go. It's far enough out that it will not affect the spawn rate in the spawner up there. And right now I just have that dropping down into some hoppers and uh, all those uh, skellies that drop down there. Just turn in the bones and arrows, which is really neat. I got quite a bit of that stuff, so <laughs> I'm not gonna have to worry about needing bones and arrows for a long time. But uh, anyway, yeah, been doing a lot of work over here, as you just saw. And I've also got something else that uh, wasn't in the time lapse in this area down here. Remember, I had those ravines down there. And I had mentioned that I kind of wanted to incorporate the ravine into the base somehow. Well, I've done that. Instead of just blocking it off, I built this window right here and got a nice balcony over here looking over the ravine. And I've put some trees and grass in, plenty of vines and things like that. And even some wheat in a few places. And uh, bushes. And just kind of made it look like a nice natural area here. And I think it's turned out really cool. I really like the way it looks. Um, I went ahead and preserved this lava fall. Coming right down here into this uh, little uh, catcher here. So that they have lava everywhere. And with some coarse dirt. Made a little path through here. Of course I put some mushrooms in and they're kind of taking over. Just like a fungus usually does, so I might have to uh, rethink those. <laughs> I had one right there, and it's turned into five. So, yeah, anyway, uh, we've got different levels here. Probably going to take that cobblestone out and uh, just keep that open up there. I'm going to do some filling up there, fill that in with some of the extra stone I've got. Probably going to block this off with a wall and put a door here so that I have access to some caves. And I do have ways to get up there as well. Uh, kept this waterfall and we can just head right on over here up this end of the ravine up 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 we go and we come out into the next level and there's a cave around here somewhere that i'm gonna have to find at some point in time but uh yeah we just follow this path right around over here and we come into an area where we can look down that's where we came in over there and that's the lower level and then we've got this level right here and we can walk right up through this little tunnel and I've got a nice little area up here as well. And this is kind of a good hiding spot. I can kind of watch for people when they come in. This is attached to my portal. I did finally set up a portal as well. And we can go take a look at that. That is right over here. And we just go down. Now, all these caves are natural. I didn't cut any of these out. Um, this ravine was already here. And these caves just left them exactly the way they were. I just threw down some grass. And uh, this worked out really cool. I love the way this comes down. Kind of loops around right here. comes into this area. Now this path here is going to go. I'm going to take it out. I just put that there so I can get up into some caves over there. Light them up. And you may have seen that nether rack and nether brick. Just come right over here. Then I've got this little nethery area over here. Got quite a bit of glowstone and nether rack. Soul sand. Even got some quartz and fire. Kind of made this look a little nethery here everything you see here is what you would find in the nether and i actually have some caves up here as well um, i'm probably actually going to put another wall up over here and uh put a door as well keep all the caves blocked off but still have access to them and uh, we can run i think it's right down this way Just don't step in the fire and we come out right on the next level here that's the lower level yeah, I'm actually going to build my uh, branch mine in that area right there. Uh, I went ahead and put some glass in so we can see the lava. And I think it looks really cool. And we just go right down the steps here. And there is my portal. And that goes right into the nether. And I've built a tunnel that uh, attaches me to the hub. So now I don't have to sail across the ocean to get back to spawn. Got some other things I'm going to do. Uh, some areas uh, like this right here where things could possibly spawn. I'm going to knock them out. And that way I don't have to have as many torches up there. Um, I kind of want to get rid of some of these torches. Some of those areas way up there. I'm going to take some of the stone I have and fill them in. Just to eliminate all the possible spawning areas. So I don't have any kamikaze creepers dropping on my head. <laughs> I 
So yeah, we can just run right through here from the portal. And it leads right over into the base. And it's looking really cool, I think. I like the way it's turned out so far. Not going to do anything with those walls other than get rid of the spawnable space like that area right there. Um, I'm not going to attack it with torches. I want to get rid of some of those torches. My goal was to get rid of all these torches down here. And I don't know why I have that one there. I don't need it. Uh, but anyway, my goal was to get rid of all these torches down here. But after I put in all this grass and stuff, I kind of like them. I think it kind of adds to it. Uh, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave them there. Uh, I was going to put probably put glowstone or sea lanterns there in the ground and put green wool carpeting over top of it. But I don't like that idea now. I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that. Down here I've got a nice little lava pit. And plenty of lava to get for something that I am going to eventually build in this nice round room. Now this also is natural. Uh, this was already here. So this ravine was really cool. I really love this here, the way this worked out. Um, everything's really neat. So I got a nice little hiding spot up there and up there. I can stand up there and watch people come to the base and nobody even know I'm there. So I just head up the ladder here. And I've also been doing a little bit of work on the surface. Um, I built something up there. Got started on one of the little villages. You might remember I said I was going to build different areas different types of villages following different themes. One of them is going to be mostly stuff that I built and another one's going to be stuff based on tutorials and uh, another one is going to be kind of stuff that I came up with my quote-unquote futuristic building style that I started on Biffus fan server. Uh, I'm probably going to do some work there. Shut up zombie! He is on the surface. Now all this is temporary here. All these chests and all this stuff. This is all going to come out eventually. Um, I'm going to have access to the surface down here, uh, and I'm not going to have it via ladder. Probably going to have a corridor going up here and meeting up with maybe some stairs or maybe a tunnel that goes outside. Not really sure which way I'm going to do that. And this main level here is going to be for things like storage. Uh, I'll probably have an enchanting station up here, brewing station, uh, that kind of stuff. Next level down. I'll probably have farms for, uh, you know, wheat, carrots, potatoes, that kind of stuff. And the next level down there, I'll probably have the animals. I've got to figure out how to get them in here. Uh, but I'll probably have uh, places for cows, pigs, sheep, maybe even some rabbits, chickens, that kind of thing. And eventually I'm going to work this spawner out so that instead of these guys just dropping down and landing down there on the hoppers and dying, um, I'm going to have it set up so that I can probably flip a switch or something like that and bring these scalies back up here kind of give myself a little bit of an XP farm I'm not really too concerned about the XP farm but it is kind of cool to get some of the armor and stuff that they give you especially if a looting sword um, I like to get chain armor and these guys will definitely give it to you but they won't unless you kill them manually so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and finish up what I was doing uh, putting these lights in around the walls here on all the levels and getting rid of all those torches and everything. While I'm doing that, I'm going to show you another little time lapse of what I built on the surface. Hope you enjoy it.
there you have it. As you can see, I built the lighthouse from Season 1 of the Unnamed Server. The lighthouse that I originally called the Breakneck Point Lighthouse. <laughs> Probably not going to call it that this time around. Not really sure. Um, pretty much the same thing. Just a few minor changes, as you can see. Got a little bit of glowstone up there. And got the uh, sea lanterns back there instead of nether rack on fire. Sea lanterns didn't exist when I built this the first time. And I think they make a better light source than the netherrack on fire so other than that just minor cosmetic changes nothing major uh, everything else is pretty much the same so i do have a few minor little things i want to finish up off camera and uh just kind of take care of that but other than that i think that's going to do it for this episode and i'm going to try to do more time lapses like this uh, a lot of the things i want to build out here i think i'm going to try to time lapse and that way you can watch me build them without being too awfully bored because just watching somebody place blocks does kind of get a little old after a while <clears throat> but if i can do it in time lapse and eh, maybe it'll be a little bit more a little bit more interesting not really sure anyway thanks for watching everybody really do appreciate it thanks for all the support you've been giving me so far it's really awesome and i'm really happy that you're watching my videos anyway my name is angry k9 and i will see you next time on full stack